I think there's an earthquake. Oh. We are going to the pool when there have been numerous earthquakes. Scientists have been saying that this area, the wreckage in this peninsula, has been really getting itself ready for a volcanic eruption. And of course, this is nature, so it might not happen. <laughs> Wow, it's incredibly sunny. So this morning I am taking Mia to a physio appointment. No, oh, this is super bright. This is not like Reykjavik, is it? Just to check over... Whoa. I think that's an earthquake. I don't know if it's safer to go inside a building. But the earthquakes are never that bad in Iceland. We've had a few recently. This is... Oh, oh no, I hope they're okay, actually. I'm sure everything is fine. Little baby Mia! I know this is a really strange thing to do. <laughs> like, there's an earthquake right now. I know that they're not that big, but it feels so weird. And, like, no one's here. <laughs> so I may as well talk to you guys. I just checked, and the last one was 5.4 on the Richter. So they're not big, but... You definitely feel it and you can hear things moving around and rattling in your house. I've just picked up the books that fell and the picture frames off the shelf and things. And everyone's kind of gone mad on Facebook. It's... Life at the moment is not boring, is it? That's for sure. Whoa, that was a big one. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a bit scary now. I learned this from Japan and the best thing to do was stand in a doorway. So that's what I'm going to do. And just hope that everyone else is okay. This is just so surreal, isn't it? So because Mia has had her eye problems and balance issues and all of those kind of things, today we are going to the physio to kind of just have a test on how she's doing, how she's progressing, and get a bit of support and guidance on what we can be doing. This is so shaky. <laughs> this is so weird to support her. Um, in her growth and development and all of that kind of thing. So it's not the first time we've done it. We're getting quite used to all of this. I'm seeing reports coming up on my phone. 5.6 was that one. I love that there's people just sitting out on benches chatting. <laughs> people are just so relaxed in Iceland. I think I've adopted this mentality a little bit. I'm just chatting to you in the middle of earthquakes. <laughs> what is this? 2021. The craziness continues, eh? Oh, can you, like, you can hear things, you can see the plant moving. It's just like, it's like a massive lorry is driving right by the house or something. Hey, I phoned my mum, which was probably a stupid idea to worry someone who's in a totally different country. But I then, she told me to phone Ingmar, which I phoned him and he was busy at work, but then he did phone me back a couple of seconds later, so it was fine. Oh, I just feel really nervous and it reminds me of Japan a lot and I just, I'm on my own here and I know Mia is safe. She's in a one-story building. It's a solid concrete building. It'll be reinforced, it's designed for these kind of situations. And if, he said, if the staff are nervous, they'll just take them outside for as long as they need to and just play outside in an open space where it's safe. Or they'll call us and we can come and get them. He said to me to either stay in the flat near the doorway, away from windows. So I've changed from the kitchen. I didn't even think about that. Um, and just phone somebody or vlog. <laughs> he said if I start feeling really bad, then just leave the apartment and either get in the car or just go for a walk in an open space, which is probably the best idea. I've just kept an eye and eye outside. Nobody is going outside, so... I think it's best just to stay indoors for now. <laughs> it might seem like a really weird thing to pick up the camera and vlog, but honestly, like this is distracting me right now. I feel like I can hear them coming before they hit, which is making me more anxious than actually feeling the, the quakes and the aftershocks. Little update, of course, there were no shocks, no tremors for about 20 minutes. So I decided I would jump in the shower 
And of course there was one whilst I was in there. Um, and it was quite a sharp one. So Ingmar was messaging to see if I was okay. And I was in the shower. <laughs> I have Mia now. Because I don't speak Icelandic and I don't have a clue what the word for this appointment is. I just had to bring all of the papers <laughs> with me and then take a picture of them all and send them to Ingmar. So now I'm sat outside the office and I've got, I think, the right one. So this is the prescription for this appointment so that we don't have to pay for it. You're too eager. Not yet, Mia. <laughs> Was that good fun? Yeah. Did you play with the Balties? Yeah. Yeah. It is honestly hours later. Um, I've got Mia in the back again and we have come out. It's beautiful, sunny, spring-like day. It's four degrees. There's still snow on the mountains, but it's lovely. So I think we're going to have a nice swim outside. So we've come to the pool in Alftanes and we're going to meet a couple, a friend of ours here. Mia's friend, my friend, who's the mummy. Um, and have a nice little swim outside. I don't know if this is like a really stupid idea when there have been now 30 tremors. And like Scully said that we can expect another big one. But I don't know. I asked Ingmar and he was like, yeah, go for it. So we are going to the pool when there have been numerous earthquakes. But it'll distract me and it'll hopefully relax me after quite a stressful morning. <laughs> okay, ready? Steady, go! Whee! <laughs> Yay! Was it good? Yeah. Okay, that was a pretty interesting night, huh? I definitely woke up to three of those earthquakes. We have had earthquakes for the last two days. Three since Wednesday. Three, yeah. Um, hundreds of little earthquakes happening all the time. It is quite a normal thing for Iceland, but we don't typically feel them. And these are getting pretty big. We had 5.7 on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had over 5,000 quakes yeah. on the corner of the country that we're in. And we just had the Reykjanes Sky. I was six hitting four during the night and unfortunately Mia was in bed with us so yeah, I managed she came to through. wake up to each and every one of them <laughs> and it's always as pleasant yeah. and we just had like not five minutes ago we probably had someone that, on that closest in on yeah. five red painting red painting whoa you just dropped it so now we are finding all activities around the house to entertain this little monster yeah and right now I've brought out all of the felt letters, not felt, the foam letters that we've got. And we're going through them. What letter is this? K. K. Well done, Mia. She's got pretty much all of these correct so far. Oh, yeah. wrong way round. This way. Yay. Mia, what letter is this? M. M. And whose name has this letter? M. M for? Mia. What letter is this? A D, yeah. D, D for? Mia. Daddy. <laughs> it doesn't work for your Daddy. your name all the time. What about this one? Mia B. What letter is it? Mia B. B. Yeah, yeah Mia. Mia B. A four. Yeah. What number is this one? Seven. Yeah. And what number is this one? Nine. <gasps> yeah. And what number is this one? Yeah. Daddy M. Yeah, Daddy doesn't get M. Mia gets M, and Mummy gets M, but Daddy doesn't get M. Mummy. Mmm, Daddy. <laughs> what does this say, Mia? Daddy M. It says M. E. A. Mia. Mia. Yeah. What does this say? D. A. D. Dad. Rascal. <laughs> okay, she's one of those children who rebels in the back of the class now when she's bored because the lesson is too easy. <laughs> this is where all our fridge magnets have gone. Okay, so today, Mia and I are sitting here to, ready to do church. Yeah. We survived the night. I think I only woke up to one earthquake. Maybe I'm just getting more used to them now. George and Mia, George and Mia yeah. Do you want to do painting? We'll yeah. do it after church. 
Yeah. Okay, we have to do church and then we do coffee and chat with people and then we'll do painting. Yeah. Good job. We'll also get you dressed at some point. So yes, there weren't too many earthquakes through the night. I haven't even checked what um, what the weather website is saying. But things have kind of, I think we've just got more used to it now. So Ingmar has gone off to the spa today um, and I am here with Mia. We're going to do church and then we're going to go outside because it snowed overnight. There was a huge hail storm and there's loads of snow. So that's going to be good fun. We're now having a tea party on Mia's floor with raisins and juice. Yummy, yummy. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Mummy gets lots. <laughs> oh, Mummy has the blue one. Mia has the yellow with lots of raisins. Thank you. Mummy blue. Thank you. And we've got to pick them up with a spoon. Num nums. Yellow. Yeah. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mummy help you? No. Okay. Cheers. Um, 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 um. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Nummy nummy got? Thumbs up. Wow, cute. Look, cute. Look, shoes, Nori. <laughs> you FaceTime and your cousins. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day now. It is Monday. Ingmar's at work. Mia is at school. Everyone is kind of back to their normal routine. But I have to say, it is really hard to focus when there are just earthquakes every... kind of every 20 minutes at the moment. So, here in Reykjavik, we, we, well, in Iceland, I suppose, we don't really experience that many earthquakes. And at the moment we have had it's something crazy, like over 1,700 earthquakes in the last week. Um, and yeah, that's quite mad. I think that's, you know, that might be quite a normal number. I, I actually have no idea. But the fact is that some of these earthquakes are pretty big. They are measuring around five on the Richter scale. So 4.2 to kind of 5.7. Um, and you can really feel them and you can also hear them coming, which is what is most unnerving, I think. And you might even hear one whilst I'm filming and you'll hear, <laughs> it's quite funny, it's really just the booze in our kitchen that rattles the most. I've kind of checked over the flat and we've taken down most of the things that could fall, other than like pictures like this, I suppose we could take them all down. But at the moment, things are okay. And we're just hoping, fingers crossed, that it starts to ease off as the pressure and the activity, the energy in the earth releases with each one of these earthquakes. The unfortunate thing is that they are predicting an eruption and the volcano that they're predicting would erupt is actually quite near the city of Reykjavik where we are. And I'm going to show you what the weather.is, which is like the weather website here, so this is how many earthquakes there have been. This is the area that they're in. And right up here is where Reykjavik is. So they're pretty damn close to us. There was, I think, two earthquakes that I woke up to last night. And one of them, I'm not sure if it's the one that was around one o'clock or whatever, because I was semi-delirious, but Mia was in our bed. And it, when it hit, I felt like it was quite big and it was going on for a little bit longer than normal, so I just reached over and grabbed Ingmar and Mia and gave them a huge hug. In hindsight, I mean, that's really lovely that that's what I chose to do, but that wouldn't help us. <laughs> um, and I, I actually think this must be quite difficult because when an earthquake hits, you're supposed to get in a secure place, like a door frame under a table or whatever, but if you're sleeping in bed, it's not the first thing that comes to your attention. So hopefully we won't have to do anything like that. So we have now escaped to the local park and I can tell you 
this is not the most appropriate place to be standing when an earthquake might hit. I feel a little bit like we've got motion sickness. We're on a roundabout. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! White. White stone. What colour is this stone? Black stone. Yeah. What colour is this stone? Black stone. Yeah. What colour is this stone? Black stone. Yeah. We're now in a little cafe where Mia's going to serve me. Can I have a grey stone, please? Mm. Yeah, can I have this one? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Nice doing business with you. Thank you, Mummy. You're welcome. Say, come again. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao for now. <laughs> Tara the new. Yay! <laughs> bless, bless. Bless, bless. Yeah. Mummy down the slide. <laughs> Mummy to go down the slide. Okay. Are we ready for this? It's quite steep. Okay. okay. If I'm going, you're coming with me. Mummy, I'm coming. Yeah, Mia's coming. Ready? <laughs> it's freezing cold. Ready? Steady. <gasps> Whoa, okay, we're going super slow. <laughs> Whee! Go! Yeah! Whee! <laughs> I've just come onto the Lava Centre's website because they've got a really good map of all of the activity at the moment in Iceland. So this is just like the whole of Iceland. You can see down the south here is where the Lava Centre is. And I'm going to zoom in a bit to show you where Reykjavik is and uh, where all of the activity is. So this is the Reykjadenes, I'm probably saying that wrong, peninsula, and this is where all of the activity is. For those of you who have visited Iceland, you will have flown into here where Keflavik airport is. You might have also visited Grindavik, where there are some geysers and some amazing landscape. And also, unfortunately, the Blue Lagoon is here. Now, 20 kilometers from Kind of the epicenter here is the city, the capital city of Reykjavik. In hindsight, probably not the best place to have a capital city, so close to where there is a lot of activity and has been a lot of activity over hundreds of years because where lava has flowed before, it can flow again. And pretty much all of this area is just lava on top of lava on top of lava. A lot of Iceland is lava. <laughs> and Unfortunately, I'll zoom in a bit further to show you where we live is pretty much this area here. So really not that far. And that's why we can feel a lot of this activity, a lot of these earthquakes. And my friend sent me a message and it said, Over 1,500 measurable earthquakes have occurred since midnight. The largest was magnitude 4.9 at 1.30. 18 quakes larger than magnitude 3 have occurred so far today and more than 11,500 earthquakes have been measured since Wednesday. 200 of those were over magnitude 3. Basically scientists have been saying that this area, the Reykjanes Peninsula, has been showing massive signs of activity for, for years now and it's basically getting itself ready for a volcanic eruption. So for those of you asking, Mia is not, she just doesn't even seem faced by this really. Um, she's probably more using it as an excuse to get more cuddles and sleep in mummy and daddy's bed, which is fine with us. I'd prefer for her to be with us. There are quite a number of earthquakes through the night and they're enough to wake us up. So they are pretty big. In the last couple of days, I've just noted down here, we've had 5.7, 4.6, 4.7 there around. We went on high alert when we had over 4,000 earthquakes. We've now had beyond that. Um, and they are predicting that in the next couple of days, weeks, we could have one that is 6.5 or higher. And so we don't need to panic. Nobody needs to go out and stock up on things or whatever. It should be fine. But it's just a case of knowing that that's what's on its way and 
that this is something that has happened in the past. These things work on a cycle. Seemingly we are due for this every 50 years and it has been 50 years. So these things can kind of be predicted. There was an earthquake a couple of months, about, what was it, four months ago now, that was 5.6 and the local experts thought that that would be enough of a release of energy from the earth to help settle the peninsula, but obviously it wasn't. And of course, this is nature, so it might not happen. Maybe nothing is going to come of this. Maybe it will. We just don't know. And so just having your kind of wits about you, looking into what you can do, keeping your kids calm and safe, creating jump areas like this. This is a great earthquake proof activity for me. It is mad to think that 80% of Iceland lives in Reykjavik or this area. We are so close to the epicentre of this and we're surrounded by lava so obviously you know that always did kind of surprise me that the city is built on so many lava fields but I guess there's not a huge amount of land that is that's habitable in Iceland but this does worry me. There's no real evacuation plan that I'm aware of and hopefully we won't need one but yeah there we go. That's our week. It continues. <laughs> there are still shaking happening right now. I'm going to sign off now. Go and get Mia. Please feel free to follow us on Instagram to get more of a kind of daily update on how things are going and to message with us if you want to. If you are here in Reykjavik and feeling nervous, anxious, whatever, please feel free to comment down below and kind of help each other out in the community. Okay, it's Thursday and for those of you following the Icelandic news you will have seen that yesterday last night we got a warning that the volcano could erupt within the next few hours. Now that was at three o'clock and it's more than 12 hours later now. Nothing has happened um, but that was very exciting. I'm just I'm at Perthland right now which is in the city centre, it's like two minutes from our apartment and I'm going to show you where the volcano is just to give you a bit of a perspective on how close it is to everyone. So this is Perthland and I'm just going to zoom round and hopefully you can see that's it right there and you can see the edge of the city.